But what, what's interesting is we started to look at uh, stakeholder groups from a geographic perspective. Of course, mm -hmm. I'm a geographer. Mm -hmm. And one of the maps, I don't know if you can see this, this is a map mm -hmm. of the um, vote that was taken mm -hmm. by the Planning Commission. And so there were three African Americans on the Planning Commission. Mm -hmm. And what that map shows is that the two African American planning commissioners who do not do not live in the black community, mm -hmm. they voted against yes. it. Mm -hmm. The one African American planning commissioner who lives in mm -hmm. the black community mm -hmm. voted for it. Mm -hmm. What's also interesting mm -hmm. is the white planning commissioners who live in predominantly white communities mm -hmm. voted for it. Mm -hmm. But the white planning commissioners who live in closer proximity to Maytown uh, voted against yes, it. it. So mm -hmm. it's really a, almost an opposite effect geographically based mm -hmm. upon race. And so just looking at the African American commissioners, mm -hmm. it could be that they're not living in the African American community, mm -hmm. that they're living away from Maytown. Mm -hmm. They didn't feel, they felt probably less of a, a you know, stake allegiance, in it. Yeah, yeah, less yeah, of a stake, and, mm -hmm. and hey, I can vote against it, mm -hmm. it's no big deal, it's not affecting my community, mm -hmm. you know, that's just, just uh, mm -hmm. uh, whereas the, what's interesting is now the white commissioners mm -hmm. who voted against it are those that live closest to mm -hmm. the Bells Bend area, mm -hmm. but it's almost, it's unbelievable how racially segregated mm -hmm. it is. They, I mean, it's their, their districts are overwhelmingly predominantly white. Mm -hmm. And of course, the white communities mm -hmm. were the main stakeholders mm -hmm. who were coming out overwhelmingly against mm -hmm. the project, mm -hmm. obviously because they have no stake mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Tennessee State mm -hmm. University. And so by looking at the stakeholder reaction geographically, mm -hmm. uh, we can see perhaps ways to mm -hmm. uh, affect change in different ways. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we should have looked at those planning mm -hmm. commissioners Good. and said, hey, you know, this commissioner A and B, yeah, they're black, mm -hmm. but we can't assume so that they're, gonna that vote they're in going favor. to be in mm -hmm. favor of this thing. Maybe mm -hmm. we need to reach out to these, mm -hmm. these individuals mm -hmm. and say, hey, look, this is important. I know mm -hmm. your constituents probably don't care one way mm -hmm. or another. They're way out in Antioch mm -hmm. or they're way up north in Madison. Uh, and, and that would have turned the tide in this mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously that that mm -hmm. didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that we're really interested in. Okay, and so Dr. Patrick, uh, we're ending uh, this uh, show for today, but uh, you really do believe that it is possible to uh, get this project up and running with a little more publicity and a little more uh, 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 interest in some of the people that, that, that ought to be interested in it. You think that you can get it uh, going again? Yeah, I think there's gonna, gonna be a meeting of the minds. Mm -hmm. uh, the opposition seems to be primarily against mm -hmm. the corporate mm -hmm. portion, which really is a threat mm -hmm. to the um, TSU research park. Mm -hmm. But the Sustainable Agriculture Research mm -hmm. Center should be fine and maybe with some mix of residential development uh, and maybe some commercial, it'll, it'll still Very fly. Good. And of course, Dr. Patrick, let me thank you for bringing that excellent information by to us today. And, and, and I'm sure that uh, we gained a lot of information in reference uh, to it. I thought it was a dead project myself, but I'm glad that I know this. And, and of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.